<laughs> I'd like to throw a friend. <laughs> Alright, we Wait, hold on, what? Look. look at those names. Ooh. Ooh that's I'll leave this uh, bedecked, I'm dead. So true, bestie. Um, Alright, Vedette's going up against Ana Reza. Ana Reza has already taken out uh, one of the UK representatives in Kiyoshi today. Let's see if they can do it again. Vedette, can you save the honor of our people? We had two Dutch commentators. Now it's time for the two Brits to maybe power Vedette into a win. Listen, this is just the mirror match. Before it was two Dutchies power on Reza, now we've got two UK commentators powering on Vedek. We're launching into the first seven. Double Bardock on the point position in 2023, Dunk. And already we're going for the mix there. Good block from Reza, who's changed his team again. Interestingly, he used the GT Goku and Super Saiyan Goku. It's so funny because I, I think these players definitely like decided on no fusions, no lab coat. And they're just trying to play good old fashioned Dragon Ball. Um, it's funny what that amounted to in the first uh, interaction. It was using a system. I have nothing else here. Yeah, I mean, there's just been a clear advancement in what characters can get out of their own tool sets. But mm. I mean, this is what we were so used to before. Bardock and Kid Boo. I mean, man, I'm getting Rudy flashbacks. Oh god, the Rudy, we're gonna see it. The Dead. Currently on the receiving end of this GT Goku level three. Thank God we don't have to see this as much as before. When empty jump low, good block, and then the car cancelled DR. Vedette and not ready, and his Bardock is going to be out of here. Reza gets first blood. Yeah, a quick kill then will bring Goku to the point position. One of the Bardock's already being down. That must be painful for Exolitor. I see in the chat one of the Bardock masters in 2023, and he joins to see a character that he loves die. That's pain, and Vedek is going to bring the pain back to Reza. Gets him in the corner right now. Then we'll go for the Santa Kibu. Bring him in there. Has the assist ready as well. Go blocks from Reza. Defense is a staple from him, but he finally gets clipped. And with five bars on deck, this could be a high damage combo from Vedek indeed. Yeah, should be popping off that level one. No, doesn't. Opted for like a soft reset. Will end up hitting the two end, but no confirm. Reza gets hit again, but luckily gets out and will confirm with that GT Goku assist. I love that rejump straight into the beam. Super Dash new for this season, given to every character so they can all be different. But if everyone's different, I'll be really different. Listen, oh, Dunk, it, it's, like the, it's like the Incredibles. When everyone's super, no one's super. Oh, God, I feel really bad about that. It's actually quite depressing. Not as depressing as this <laughs> fucking kid boo. Well, actually, it's just six seven again and again. Oh, 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 the crime. Oh, my goodness. But dead stop. He's got seven bars now. What he has to do is keep it simple. He goes for the saucy key blast there. Just to keep the root going right now. Already has all the bar needed. This is to get himself in a position to dump it. Dragon rush to end. And the deck after a difficult start evens things back up in the character advantage. But at what cost, sir? At what cost? That sparking is gone now. Reza still has their sparking on that side. And I'm going to assume they're going to save it for that GT Goku in the back, right? Level 3 sparking, given the extended time on that sparking. Great beam there from the deck. I was going to call him Surf for a second. I don't know if you still play UI Goku. Do you? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. But even so, I definitely would not be cooking the peak Ocean at first to five. So I would not be here right now. That's why you're the best commentator. You're so real. Level 1 will end up killing Reza down to that GT Goku. And like I said, sparking in the back. Five meter in your pocket. How are you going to spend it? How are you going to look for a way in on this UI Goku? Difficult for sure, but I mean, the EX tools that your uh, GT Goku, excuse me, got the two Gokus mixed up, can abuse, are still prevalent despite the meta's advancements. So Reza does have options with meter, and he has got nearly six to spend, Dunk. He already is there. We'll go for the taps right now. Just looking for a way in. Go blocks and protect so far. Take on the Dragon Rush. Good defense. There's the first EX. Now the pressure is on. Good defense again from protect. He's just being patient, Dunk. That's all he needs to do. He has the advantage. Why let go of the back mode? None of this is mixed. Vedect confident in their blocks. There's the Vanish. Actually takes the turn back into plus frames and forces that sparking out. And here's party time. This is when Reza can drop all the crazy mix with the sparking cancels. I say crazy mix. Oh, like that pogo looks kind of saucy. Saucy bucker. I feel like I'm just like, I've been damaged by TikTok. Oh, oh my God, Reza's been damaged by the 2 age. Yep, big damage, big level 3 for Vedect here, who will be able to press the advantage even further. Vedect is damaging bodies while Dung is damaging brain cells at this point. He's even clipping mine <laughs> with how much TikTok he's talking. Please stop, Dung. I can't, man. TikTok memes are so good. Oh, that was a nice challenge. Good to have. Oh, what? But I will leave. Damascus, I will get out and get out of here. You don't do nice this in two weeks in a row. <laughs> 
Oh, he gets the clip again. Ali Reza is stuck in the corner right now. Good jump over the dragon rush there. Now it's his turn to take the spaggers out. But once again, it's simple for the deck to block. Reza has got so much body utilized, but he's not getting a chance. Good air to air from the deck, who will bring Reza up, scoop him up, send him down, and go for the level one. And again, massive patience from the deck, just riding out those GT blocks, brings up on the solo position, and he gets a point on the board as a result. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to formally announce that I'm submitting my transfer request from Wanted. Um, I want any team to take me. I don't really care who. Get me out. Listen, Dunk, all I'm saying is, would you rather be a Wanted commentator or would you rather be part of Liverpool right now? Good point. I would like to stay with Wanted for then. <laughs> <laughs> Start off again in the back dash. Larry actually managed to catch, but no confirm. We'll just try like with Bardock it's kind of weird because you see them use one assist to try and get in and the second assist to go for mix if it doesn't work out it's like all the gas is stalled they just stand there patiently and wait for another opening and uh, now they're going into Lyria City this is yep. this is peak gameplay press one in chat if you like this character so I can ban you immediately garbage Listen. character with a garbage theme Oh, hang on, dissing the Bardock theme. Someone take Dunk Sniper Rifle away because he is shooting far too many innocents right now. Reza with the challenge there will bring GT Goku in for the assist. There's the 2M, but no confirm. The deck gets one more chance, but a guard cancel will be successful. Actually interrupting Bardock Lariat. That's a jump scare right there. Oh, he got caught by the 2-0. There's a mix. Landing like after. Good. JS to sort of cancel that out. 5 inch stagger is a strange place to stagger. Reza does it anyway. Here comes the mix. Actually messed it up a little bit. But forces the swap from Reza anyway. Now Vedette. I was gonna say Vedette is just gonna stand full screen and laugh at the man who has no way to get across to you. What the? Yo, Kremesis, where are you? He's in this. He's with us in spirit, Dunk. He always is, especially when we have curse interactions like that. You see a ghost of the Italian flag appear in the background of the screen. This <laughs> Reza keeps the pressure on the dragon. No, she's going to be tech by the deck, though. Oh, a bad vanish that Reza could potentially punish there, but nothing on it just yet. The beam to extend right now. The low option is there. Super dash into the assist, but still nothing. The deck's defense seemingly on perfect point right now. Staggers are not enough to open them up. Reza needs to confirm he's a bit more Dunk. Yeah, you can see... But that's sort of feeling their defense against Bardock at this point. Like, it, when the assists are up, there's not much they can go for. We'll get clipped though. With seven bar to spend, yeah, you have to go for something. Goes into the level three. That's gonna side swap because he has long hair and no eyebrows. Now, what is the mix, good sir? Nothing. The deck chooses the spark. Doesn't want to deal with any of that. Great block. Here comes the mix. J double JM. Great block, but a six M. Will manage to connect into the corner. We go. But the great thing for us, uh, you use up all of that sparking time, so it's normal meet again now. Yep, we'll be able to press the advantage in the corner for sure, but Reza has a nice jump out there, can use the extra immediately escape. The pressure is on for the deck to kind of keep the momentum that he really had going before, because Reza, now playing the long distance game, his assists are doing the work for him quite nicely. Oh, that was nice, using the GT Goku with, uh, assist to catch any attempt to run. That should actually be a dead character now. Can't see this level two the bottle can drop. Don't get to see this one pretty often. So yeah. A kill or we'll go Reza's way, the deck down a character, no sparking to save you. We'll get that sixth bar. We will not get that sixth bar alive. We're gonna be stuck on five bar. Now it's really tough in this situation, right? When they've get, got the hit, got you locked up in the corner as Kid Boo. Not much you can do apart from cower. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's still not going to be enough. Reza kind of been very good with the movement in particular. Good corner escapes, I must say, especially with Super Saiyan Goku. Reflect is going to get caught. Lacking there by the deck, who has got boundless bar to spend. Six and a half will go for the EX ball there. Now can just keep him nicely in the corner. Six M block. Back dash there. Falling out the deck. Great movement. Calling out Reza's attempt to escape the corner for the third time. And it is not the charm because he gets the hit. And that's a dead GT Goku. Good stuff on the deck there. Yeah, playing on the fact that Reza wanted to clash after that 6M and with the back dash and that 2M from Kipu has so much range. The deck with the perfect punishing time. Can you maintain this lead? Dog, what a snipe with the 2S! Taking us back to Call of Duty 2014. Like Great snipe release. <laughs> God no, that game sucks. Yo! Your life and soul has been taken! Reza baited by the flip into beam. And I was gonna note actually, one of the bad things about the deck's the deck team is the really low super damage. So you're gonna see the deck struggle to kill in a lot of situations uh, because of it. 
Rezo, on the other hand, no such problem. Big 2M star. And this could potentially be dead, right? Get some extension with that rejump. It should just have to spend three bar to get the kill. Keep it simple. Uh, you're right, Donk. That was a fantastic extension. Reza pushing him into the corner. Then go for the Super Saiyan Goku level 3. Just get the kill. And 2M star like that, I must say, right in Vedek's face. That's the sort of disrespect that I would not take, me personally. And unfortunately, we'll have to take it. Problem now is you're down to anchor Goku. And finally, a DR will hit true. No assist to convert from this, though. So we think we'll get another chance. Tries to snap with the 2S, 5 l to lock down. Staggers don't walk forward, the JM block 6M again. And this time the 5 l walks out for us, uh, showing no fear despite the deck showing obvious situations where he's counted in the past. Reza will end up taking that game. And now you have to wonder, are we done with the memes? Are we gonna see real teams or are they done now? Or oh, sorry, are they gonna play the actual teams or? We're gonna see memes. I want to we're gonna see the memes. I don't mind. I'm down for some memes. I'm down for these teams. Let's get cream. God, I you think... did get cream. <laughs> well, that's a word for it, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I think Reza and Vitek kind of agree. This is the sort of team they genuinely want to play throughout the set. Vitek promised that he was gonna cook something up. But unfortunately, he's the one getting cooked right now. Reza putting him in the boiling hot pan. Three bars order builds. Has the extension on deck. Oh, but there's the drop. Now the pressure. The DR is gonna get teched as well. Vitek needs a way out this corner urgently. There's a Kibu assist. Fantastic from him. Blocks. Oh my goodness. The Bardock mirrors dunk. I'm getting flashbacks. Uh-oh, sparking. Forced out, great block on the cross up. Tries to go for plus range, reflected away. And Vedek is scrambling to try and make use of the sparking. And in that scramble, Reza will end up finding a clean hit. Waste the sparking time and should actually be able to get the kill. That's going to build the fifth bar. Got punch into level one. Another level one and level three should seal the deal. Reza looking comfortable on this team. And Vedek scrambling and sparking situations and with the characters for that usually plays it works right you play lab coat you play vegeto you can scramble with the best of them but when it's a bottle mirror you're gonna have to be very careful about what you're placing on it yeah, I think it's because obviously Bardock has very quick movement with the Lariat, but that's only in a pure horizontal fashion. After that, you've got to burn your assist. Like you said, Dunk, you usually have to burn an assist just to try and get in. If that game plan fails, after that, Fedek is in danger right now, but he's in the corner where he needs to be. The Kibu will find the opening. That's a good recovery from him, but he is going to drop the combo. Reza gets a chance to save this GT Goku right now, and he's going to have to block it out one more time. Yo, this blocking is extremely toxic from both of them. Whenever they get to the corner, they're like, yeah, I would hold my guns, but Reza finally shows a true duchy inside of him. Mashes out of that situation and should be able to get G to Goku out. Does attempts the rejump. Didn't quite catch, but most important thing, Bardock is in, GT is out. Kid Boo tried to find a way in there, so makes JL will connect. And that means Reza is going to be on the receiving end of a little bit of damage. But look, this isn't for GL, it's not for GL, it's not Lab Coat. This isn't two touch. You are still alive after taking a hit here. Yep, and the assist isn't ready in the background as well. So Fadek just going to have to desperately claw for that hit. Gets the Dragon Rush, and the assist has actually been given time to recharge as a result. Dunk might be able to extend long enough just to get the kill here. But if he'd opened him up for after the super, you're right. Not going to have been enough. Yep, wouldn't have got the meter from the, the meter panel after level three. Luckily, it took enough time and got the assist back. We'll end up getting the kill, but Fadek has spent that sparking. Reza still has theirs in hand, just like Arsenal has many games in hand. But not Liverpool. Not Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool has something else in hand, but I'm not quite sure what it is. An L? Yeah, there are loads of them, many of them. Generational Ls, even. Both can almost be plotting to kill us both right now, I'm just saying. You can try. But both our teams are doing really well. <laughs> True, meanwhile. Uh, <laughs> not going to see anything, Keno. <laughs> Are we bad people? Oh no, Vedek's definitely a bad person. What a 2M. Did it confirm again that like, lots of drops today from Vedek? I mean, that's not normal on, on Kid Buu. We usually see his, his Kid Buu combos being quite flashy, quite sort of certain. I bet on it, to be honest, but this situation is not working out great. I love that 2 one 4 h so much, right? Use it as a combo extender. Means you don't have to spend as much meter to get the kill. Level 1. We'll end up getting the kill. Reza is down to just GT Koku with seven bar. You got that sparking. Two Dragon Balls left for the wish. Don't think we're going to see any of that. 
Highly dependent on what happens next is for Deck. Still applies the pressure. Here comes that sparking. GD Goku in sparking. The massive damage output potential of that super. But he's gonna have to find a way in. Raw 2 8 with no follow up. The deck is gonna block that uppercut and send this kid up into the air. Then we'll have him in the corner. Jump out from Ali Residor. He's trying to find the staggers in the block string. Uses the EX, but actually evades underneath him for Deck. Can't take it back to the full screen thunk where he needs to be to burn that sparking timer. Another car at the R, but this time Vedek's ready, and look at the movement, jumping away after those air buttons. Knew it was a moment of vulnerability. Now, well, just mashing on the ground, and Reza does the same thing. Plus frames after the flips. Here comes Mix, no. Pushed away by the reflect, and now Reza trying to go on the offensive. You can see these staggers Ooh. looking for something. Reza will finally find it. No confirm, but we'll get the 5 0 oh, That is so much better. This could absolutely be a kill with the Spirit Bomb extension. We're going to see it for the first time in ages. Thank you, Minas, baby. Bro, are we back in Paris in offline? My goodness. He actually hit the Spirit Bomb, and he does the extension. They will go for the 2 3 6 as well. Level 1 is going to be enough. Time capsule wanted. I love it. Blast from the past. Hopefully we never see it again. God, that was an awful time. Oh, that could, that was nearly confirmed by the momentum of that JS. Great cross-up block from Reza. Tries the same thing. Level 1 will come out. You cannot vanish that one. One mix away from death. The DR is teched. The death looking for one more hit. JL doesn't connect. Blocked again. Reza holding patient. The staggers will come through. Dash DR. Great tech. And the jump back. Oh, what? my God. What was that hitbox? That was on the other side. Polarizing there, and Reza still escapes of his life. One pixel left in it, but he can definitely kill for death if he gets one hit. The grab is punished, but not entirely. Oh! One advantage from Reza to get out of that situation. Locked out too far away from the 2L. JS, just patient from Reza. Doesn't. I love that. The dash away creates space. And now you have a two bar advantage. Honestly, the deck can't do any silly things in neutral or he get vanished on. And he knows I'm trying to build the bar. Momentum forward, and again, the backwards pogo catching the dead. It is just as good as saying that side sword. Reza, with just a pixel of health, will end up taking that game. It's 2-1 the score. I want to see the deck looking, looking kind of shook. Kind of shook in these games, can't lie. That GD was just discipline right there, and that pogo mix it's always been potent. Nothing stopped that from being ridiculously potent. It caught for Dex twice in the same match dunk, and the second time was enough to spell death. And Reza is carrying on that momentum of the Reaper as he gets him in the corner. Will punish the attempt to dash out with the assist there. And it looks like right now the momentum firmly lands in his court, and he's going to keep rolling with it entirely. Yep. Find another hit. Three bar to work with. If he can get another hit on that character, it might have been death, but good war tag there from Vedek. Reza is going to find yet another hit in the corner that Kid Boo facing the same treatment as Barok. Gum or Saiyan, you are still going to get pummeled by the combos. Three bars already built right now. There's the super dash for the mix. Sparking from Vedek. I read that he needs some space right now, Dunk, urgently. Yep. And Vedek not going to give it to him at all. And because of that sparking, I was going to say he could go for the reset here in this situation. And it ends up working. And that is maximum value from your sparking time, right? He managed to get the reset, get a new hit, potentially go for the kill. Reza not ready for that situation. No sparking came out. And Bardock is gone by his son's hand. Yeah, really, the only positive that Reza can take here is that he forced Vedek into a situation to burn Spark, but Vedek completely caught him off guard, as you said, and now it's advantage towards him now. The assists are coming back out, the full screen interactions, but Reza will close the distance, tries to go for the pogo gain, but gives Vedek the chance to back off. Kara cancelled the up, but another tech from Vedek. I love that 2 3 6 to get out, out of the corner, get better positioning, but still locked up. Reza with no assist chooses to back off. The deck has both assists up. You have to be careful. He uses Kid Boo though in straight neutral. And I love this movement. This very evasive and safe movement from the deck to sort of stay away from anything that Ali Reza wants to throw out. Finally, the movement pays off with that great JL to stop any forward movement. He's actually going to Z change once that corner carry. Gets side knockdown. No three bar though. Can't go for level three. Here's the mix. No great reflect from Reza. Yeah, reflect that it's Mr. Projectile and then can jump out. But the deck will still keep the disrespect because he gets that hit once again. Four bars already built, has the assists to extend. Keep this nice and simple for deck. Do not be saucy with your plate. Just eat the food, clean it up, spend the bar, and a level two here should be enough. Absolutely.
Yeah, it should be dead, and that's one of the positives of this team. It can spend a lot of meter, dump it very well. Two level twos on your side, uh, but like I said, super damage is kind of poopy. Resident, seven bar. Doesn't matter, <laughs> it gets two H in neutral. God knows why. Well, Bedeck's walking forward menacingly with that UI Ghost. We did that before as well. Here comes the Kipper Resist once again to generate. Forces Resident or Spark and absolutely not going to risk getting opened up right there. And now Super Saiyan Goku comes in. The Dragon was just before the assist. That was lightning fast timing and a quick chase down. And Reza can spend some of that meter, right? Wants to get off full meter so you can get some meter from real Sparky. Level 3 comes out. But remember, this is UI Goku. No responsibilities on defense. Will he use it? Yes! Vedek does the 2-2-S. Two -two That's an anti-air now. Used to be a DP. Oh, fine. Get hit, and now we can waste some more sparking time. Yep, there's the advantage. Got cancelled there. You see Reza desperately trying to fish for a way to get that hit, but by the time he finally gets it dunked, the sparking timer is out. Five bars already built. Of course he's going to spend the bar once again to try and keep the momentum rolling, but... At this point, he's got to go and get this mix working right now against Kibu. Otherwise, the momentum is nowhere near enough for him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agreed. Connects with the 5M, but no confirm. And again, Vedek continues the onslaught. The 5M will connect. That should be a dead character. Vedek evens up the score, or should even up the score. Yeah, uh, yeah, I knew why yeah. I said it. Just, just uh, honestly, Dunk. Listen, it's been a while since we've called drop for your lies, but like, I know, I know you've been talking about roosters lately. Let's, let's not talk about lies again, okay? Drew, that I was a tough time. It. I caught myself doing it because I was like, yeah, Vedek should get a kill here. I was like, wait a minute, no, these players hate me. There's no way he doesn't drop this here. I, I, do you know what? Maybe I'm slightly Dutch. Maybe I'm Dutch heritage, and I lied for for Reza. Who knows? We'll have to take a test, see if Nick, Panzer, and Jiro welcome you with open arms. But right now, both these players trying to go for the violent arm swinging as they get another hit. If the deck is going to get jabbed out, but he can escape once again. The board off at full screen, waiting for the assist so they can try and pounce dunk, as you said, using that assist as coverage. Yep. Extension. This time. Find I don't know. open. I don't. I don't. What the hell just happened? I think Nick just said you're not allowed to dodge visa dunk, so uh, see you next time, buddy. Nice try. Mix. Mix. Yeah, Brexit Mix. really did mean Brexit. Mix. What? Mix. What? Mix. Okay. Mix. Mix. I'm not sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> then down a character, Reza. Looking strong in game number five. Number five, and Vedek is trying to get the momentum back in his favor. Reza happy to block once again in the corner. The assist is not regenerating, but he does get that corner steal. Vedek dragging him out there by force with that stretchy arm, and he will put Reza back into the corner. The bar is there as well, but there's the pressure. Vedek captures him again as Reza tries to use the aerial movement and land. Vedek snipes him, brings him up, and volleyballs him back out. Play, but that's even though we've seen this situation so many times, right? Where Reza will get the first character and Redek will apply in quick fashion. We'll be able to get the kill. Oh, God, he can't. What a way to press. Kind of toxic, to be honest. Redek and toxicity go hand in hand. The guy plays Cell Dunk. I mean. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely right. Sir has never spit so many facts in such a short time. I mean, I don't know if C4 would disagree with Among Us. He, he knows if he's here. God, I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Dunk. We know what you like to talk about. You're talking about roosters, we're talking about shooting people. No, yeah, I mean, you're talking about pigeons. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Rounds of different friends flock together, I guess, for that. We'll manage to take a character is down to just SSJ. Oh, God, that's not what you want to eat. 2M star is going to be big damage. Yeah, what again. was it, 5M2? Hmm. May well have been, but still in the end, it's not going to be a full extension, which gives Reza a chance to escape. But there is the flips. Oh my goodness, Vedek with the extension should be able to take himself nicely into the corner there. Does have the assist as well. We'll have to try and get that alarm, because if he does, should be enough. Get that third bar. Yo, I won't lie, Vedek is just pressing mad buttons. Like, Vedek is actually just pressing mad buttons without thinking. And that is how you're supposed to play UI Goku. Do not think, feel. Feel the buttons, they're with you. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry. 
Just oh yeah, sorry. Nick, Nick is now going to literally pull out every uh, rifle that he has just to chase you down for that dunk. Survive for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's the purge dunk edition. Oh no. All right, back into it. Sir, sir, the back goes up 3-2 on a Reza. Sir, it's on the commentary desk. I was going to say, bro, I know we're both finished, but you've confused us twice. twice now. <laughs> You guys are the same guy. The is just mini sir. Is he? How? I don't know, man. Just go. <laughs> yeah, just roll up at you. You're right, man, man, man. <laughs> yeah, easy, man, with the rain, man. Oh, no. Oh, he I did it. I become one with auto-tune. I don't know how to talk like this. It feels really weird. I feel like I have more power than I should have. Somebody please help. Dunk, we are being used as lab rats for the auto tune experiment from Damascus as Redex tries to escape once again. Spark on Spark situations as we deal with auto tune on auto tune. What do we do anymore, man? I hate you too. I've always hated you. Dude. I dunked in your favor. There's one line that we all know you have to say in auto tune. Can you uh, get this with it? Street Fighter 6 has great music. For your fire bye. <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this feels great! I love all of you, this is great. I feel so powerful. The deck also feels really powerful. It's a level one. Mix, mix, mix. Mix. Bro, I don't know how to feel. Because I can hear myself be all of you. And I'm like, wow, this auto tune don't sound amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. like I can hear myself thinking in the background. I'm just like, am I saying things right? Is the auto tune working? The Ali Reza trying to make those EXs work. There's a second one. After five seconds, the carefully trying to find himself in there. Wait, well, why am I now reading an audio book? Come on, I'm Kindle. What is this? Come on, don't breathe. I don't know, go. Oh, wait, now, those are like levels. No balances. Not on my rock, but like, I just try to try to pitch with the audio books. Right, so right now, there's the ending of the chapter of the mix. I'm trying to escape the corner as the deck uses the EXs. Still not working. Look up that Amiel JM button. Chat, take notes, just up your the test. Come for a Oh, 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 yes, you. Yeah, oh, you got it. Yes, me. Oh, my God, wait. We're in space. Wait, this is the C4 filter. Wait, no, oh, no, wait. I think we, we should do something C4 would do. Um, I don't know. Post someone out on Twitter. Yeah. Um, Altashi, I'm calling you out on Twitter. I don't know, man. You beat my ass. <laughs> There's a game of Jannibal happening. In space. Oh my God, no. You said it best. There is a game of Dragon Ball Fighters going on right now, but we just abandoned it. Like, completely abandoned it. Damascus, do you know who needs a point on the board for that game? Be honest. <laughs> he don't. He don't, bro. He's mixed. He's as mixed. Chat, who won? Chat, who won, please? We need to be reminded. <laughs> I only saw Bardo's punching each other, please. 
Oh my goodness, we're back to normal chat. We're free from the auto tunes, you know, for now. But uh, as we go back into it, Vedek with the clear advantage here, three, two up, but Reza will not stop the fight. Gets that clean Larry in the air, which can give the GD Goku a chance to bring him towards the corner right now. Dashes out though, but oh my goodness, Vedek, the movement in particular from him, Dunk, I think is something he's been really aware of in this set. Honestly, both of their movement has been in stellar, right? And I think Ali Reza's movement at the start of the game has been really good, forcing that sparking from Vedek uh, constantly. Uh, but at this moment, Vedek looking to take the early lead, goes into level three, and Reza has a choice here. Do you spark up or do you firm whatever mix Vedek has cooking? Looks like he's trying to firm it then. Reza gets a chance to press, immediately vanishing the assist there as well. Just not trying to take any of that pressure as Vedek closes the gap once again, using the Lariat. It is, to be fair, a staple of the set so far, using the Larry in at the assist. And I would say, I think Reza has been the one who's been better at maneuvering around it and firing back immediately. I have to agree. We see Vedette get really scrambly when it gets to close range situations. But Reza has great awareness of movement, great spatial awareness and great assist usage. And that is what has rewarded him with the first character and sparking. But we've seen this so many times. Can Reza convert this into a win? It's going to be difficult because Vedek really is do doing good at holding firm, but he does not need to hold firm like that because Reza is going to disrespect him, get that press, and will take him towards the corner. Three bars already built. He's going to need one more touch, but the dash under again, Dunk. That's twice he's done that in this match. And I have to say, he really is calling out the lack of air tightness from Reza. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That is a call out of disrespectful mag magnitudes. Level three not going to be enough to kill because could be level three sucks. But can you bait sparking here? That was an attempted bait on the sparking. Reza doesn't even get the punish. Stay safe. And there's the raw tag from both of them. They're changing things up. Look at the amount of blue life on that Bardock in the back dunk. Vedek is in potentially a critical moment here. Could try and punish that. Isn't going to be able to punish that vanish because the Goku assist was waiting to scoop him back up. Right now, Bardock is on vacation. He needs it for a health break. Reza needs to keep this block string going for as long as possible. Keep the scrambles going. He nearly got caught by the left arm of the forbidden one, but he still finds the hit. And honestly, I really like the patience there from Vedek. We see a lot of people get really antsy once they see Blue Health, uh, but it didn't work out in the end. Looking for Mix here. Will not find it. There it is. Flip into the L response, and the DR will connect. And instead of getting any Blue Life from Bardock, Vedek will have to settle for the child instead. Hill is a kill as long as he evens things up here. He's been very patient with that you might go and keep it as you said. And I really think it was better for him in the long run not to care too much about that blue life. Because as you said, when people usually do, they overextend and lead themselves into a punish. And with how quickly Rez has been reacting this set, he doesn't want to take that risk too far. Absolutely. And now, six bar on your side as a result of that. And what a great interruption there on that beam. Reza looking in great form. I six spot spend, right? Wants to spend as much as you can. Yeah, you got to in this situation. Get some of that cash out of there because one more touch will be more than enough at this point. Pushing for deck even further towards that corner. Vanishes as well. Oh, tried it. I appreciate the cheekiness from Reza. But Vedek fires back off a dragon rush. Hey, look, man. Vedek is doing whatever he has to do Mix. to stay alive. And in this case, Mix. it's one of the dragon rushes. Mix. This is tournament dragon rushes are they're, they're vile. They do not make sense sometimes. Do not compute. And right now, Vedek is not computing with his brain. He's using his heart and his soul with that Kibu who has no brain to speak of. I mean, Kibu has a. Oh no, that's a big drop. Great punish that from Reza. Great awareness that he's going to have landing leg. Like. That's a dead character. Reza squaring up to take their third game here. All the stands between them and uh, that. Elusive third game is that UI Goku. That elusive UI Goku kind of a deck makes some moments of magic with him. We've seen how elusive he can be, but he has to feel it with his mind. There we go. Using the 214H, the disrespect dunk. Needs to go on the aggression right now because he's got five bars of cash to spend, and he'll do just that. Level three, a good start, but he has to open Bardock up one more time. One more. What do you go for here? What do you go for what Reza isn't ready for? Went for the DR, great tech there from Reza. Oh, and nearly gets over the assist. Goes back to neutral, just sitting. Four, the forbidden one nearly worked out there, but great 2H there from Reza to seal the deal. We'll end up taking game number seven. Yeah, and... Um, 
it was enough on the deck side for the competition forever. Reza was on the aggression, he was ready for those mixes, and that strong, strong button right there that he used, it healed the deck player in that match. We're going to game number eight right now, Tung, and I wonder, is Reza bringing it back, clawing his way through to tie it up the first of three? Oh, gonna have to find out. It's an all important game in the landscape of this first of seven. I think if Adet can take it, he might just steamroll ahead. But can Reza bring back to four apiece? Look at this. Key Blast neutral, man. It's beautiful, but also disgusting at the same time. It's like watching apes make fire. I mean, really, we're just trading one flavor of apes making fire for another with this sort of team, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's like one is using, like, flint and steel. And the other is just rubbing his hands together. Um, <laughs> wait, someone will make fire eventually. Just don't know who. Oh, great, yeah. So what, what the deck does there is he does the JL. And to fall a little bit faster, wish the JH lands. Opens up with the 2L. Reza will fall the brunt of that one. And with 4 bar, the deck is looking for a kill on this Bardock. But the 2M not capitalized on. The deck doesn't manage to push that lead and now Reza gets an opportunity. But what can you really do with this team? Where's the mix coming from? I mean, it's mids and Z4 may love mids, but I'm afraid they are being mid right now because it is on opening the decks off the defense up at all. Excuse me. He gets sent back to the full screen thanks to that beam. But yet again, there's nothing there to confirm it is the problem. Those assists are great for closing the distance, Dunk, as we said before. But in terms of being like those full screen game enders like Vegeta Way, not quite there. No, you hit me right on the head. None of them are going to do crazy amounts of damage. Oh, that, honestly, I like the fact that the deck didn't even try to punish, right? You saw the last time they did that, they got sucked into the Vortex. Um, so, it was very patient now. Rewarded. Gonna get the level three. What's the mix gonna be? Are you gonna pop sparking here, Reza? Yes, you are. Doesn't want to lose this GT Goku. And that's a great punish on that JL with the Empty Vanish. Gonna build a decent amount of bar. Next hit will kill. Yeah, you're right there, Douglas. Oh, no, it wasn't enough. I totally, totally love the attempt from Reza, but doing a bit like that isn't going to work out. Could have reflected it instead. Reflect the sparking hit because it counts as a hit and then do it. But instead, the deck will get a chance to punish. As a matter of fact, because of that attempt from Reza, he's lost his life. That was an all or nothing bet by Reza, right? It wasn't even like a level one. It wasn't anything safe. It was like... I'm betting this entire character on whether or not you'll spark right now. And he was right, just didn't get the right outcome from it. And now, sparking completely useless for Reza. Three bar, down the drain. The deck has to capitalize on this and take, take the game. Reza will be kicking himself. Yeah, this is a moment where everything is suddenly shifting in the deck's favor. Resources expended with no value returned from them right now. Just holding the defense on, taking the plus frames, but then he does get crossed up. Reza fighting back immediately. He makes a blunder, but he will fix it. And he has got a chance to get the kill here. I think three bars built. Go oh, not going to be enough, I think. It might do. Up beam does a decent amount of damage. No, just a pixel of life available. And that should be safe, right? Level one of one? Yeah. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing you can do about it. Still in blocks them from the kid who assist. Oh, nearly caught Bardock in a double combo. There's plus frames twice. There's the mix. Good block there from Reza. Yeah, plus and a plus. Make a positive. And he was exploiting those plus frames. But Reza will eventually fire back. The dash in from the deck is challenged. He gets his ankles broken. Tap, tap. And he will go for the corner pressure. Has Bardock now put in their Dragon Rush Raw to open up Gordon Ramsay approved as he's got four bars already built. Should be able to go for the simple extensions here and guarantee a character kill. Bring it back to a 2v2 dunk after that massive blunder. Good recovery from Reza. And even has the life lead in this situation, Reza. Make it up for that, that error massively. But can get through this UI Goku? UI. So good at slowing the pace of the game down. You have to check so many things, and that is exactly what I was saying. If you don't, you get hit by the 2S, the, the JS, the 5S, Reza. So, has another chance. Oh, good run under, but just not quick enough on the 2L. 
unfortunate because it was great movement from Reza, another cornerstone of his movement and his general game plan, I think, is those dash unders, but for Deck, we'll have none of it. The 2 one point eight just a simple combo extender as you come at number four, Dunk. Oh no, he uses the wrong input and cannot get the hit, and Reza comes diving down, spiraling out of the air, and he will get the hit for it. Two bars already on the deck, and you want Goku is safely out of there, and Bardock can regenerate a bit of blue life. That's a really disappointing drop there from Vedette. Could have had the character dead and down, but now it's facing their own 2v1 situation. Vedette tried to go for the 2 interrupted by the 5L. You've seen these staggers with the key blast. Vedette dare not try and super dash. Absolutely not in a situation because there is always the bait lingering in the background, but Reza picks his moment, loads the bullet and fires it with ease. He can't get the extension that he needs right there, Vedek. One more touch of Biola takes as Reza burns the Bardock via assist with no real leverage out of it. Gives Vedek the chance to close the distance, but again, no extension needed. And Reza, after Vedek tries to move around like butter, slipping around, Reza catches him, locks him down, spins the bar, and Dunk, as I said, he claws it back. He makes a blunder in the middle of the match, but he still brings it to 4-4. Reza, honestly, that, that was a big comeback. That was a big comeback. And I'm I'm saying that because he threw three, three ball down the drain, gave the deck a bunch of meat, I gave him a free character. Uh, honestly, nothing much to say. Like, good comeback, well played. Reza, though, we've seen this start be quite quick. Happens again. Like, Reza's just finding the first hit so many different times. I'm not going to say it to you. Like, you can't make me say it to you. You just said it. Damn. I'm stupid. <laughs> I don't believe it. Listen, Dunk, much like the worst character in the game, you're being the worst commentator in the mental drop right there. <laughs> Kasuka is mixing you with that terrible low tier character. I agree, Kasuka, so terrible. As Redek is using a true, honest top tier with Kibu right now. I'm definitely talking as if I'm in season two or three right now. Yeah, definitely. But it feels like we are. This definitely feels like it. Also, uh, just a, an update, apparently, Next game is going to be chat commentary. I have what? no clue what that entails. All right, I'll give you a too long don't read. Dunk, we are literally fired next game. We just need to shut up and watch the magic happen. I like that. Let's enjoy our last game together. <laughs> <laughs> the ship is sinking. You know what? Let's take it with us. As Reza takes the legs out of a deck with that 2M, that low kick sweep with three bars already built. Should be able to get a simple extension here. Dragon Rush to finish him off and then burn the supers. Out goes Kipu. And Reza takes the advantage. Looks like he's going for game after game after game at this rate. He's back in his groove. Yeah, or, or like, I would say Kipu is uh, the magic character for the deck. That's what we've seen them do a lot of the crazy stuff on. So taking that character out early, really, really big for Reza. And like, look, the deck looks kind of lost on the bottom. Doesn't know how to try and open them up. It, it's it's kind of sad, actually. The no mix mix dunk, it works eventually. The taps are there. Oh, the cheeky attempt from Messi using the J2 Witch. I actually really like that. But Vedek swings in his face with the Lariat and says, you know what? Stop trying to be patient with me. Go turbo mode. Look at this. Here we go. Level one. He's going to use the level three. If you can find the clean hit here, it might be a dead character. But what can you do? What potential mix option? can you offer there it is but no way to confirm that and the dr will connect i think wrestle was a little bit shook there right saw the flash didn't think it was dr thought it was maybe a flip again and ate the dr full frontal vedette evens up the character score tries to connect with the cross-up jm but great up bar right there from reza doesn't want to hold any of that and with seven bar i imagine we're going to see a level three here Otto in this situation, it's powered up, it will do the extra damage, it will put the deck locked firmly in the corner, and Reza is in a prime position to really pile it on against UI Goku. The deck is gonna have to hold that for now. There's the option. The side switch is there, but you know what? The deck doesn't care. He will go for the Larry in the end to extend level three, and that should be him taking the corner back as well. He escaped it and he goes back in. He's just out of the corner as well, yeah. Got the JM to connect, and now he's taken to the corner, looking for that stagger to be able to reset that UI Goku assist. And now he's just waiting for it to come back, but it's so long. That's plus. Doesn't take advantage of it. And here comes the lockdown with the assist. Here comes the mix. Doesn't actually do anything after that. Wow. Unfortunate because Vedex will go for the brave push, and he does get success out of it. He brings Reza into the corner using the EX Lariat. 
There is the hit that he needs, and there's GD Goku spiraling out of this match as well. It's a 2v1 and decent life on both characters on the deck side. Reza gonna have to pull something out deep for a solo Bada comeback. Stop it, guys. Nice card. Behave, Dunk. No, no jump scare. Go away. This isn't a horror stream, guys. <laughs> Why play Dead Space when you can just watch Wanted? Listen, you want to pay £60 for a remaster or you want to get spooked in real time with a uh, nice cock jump scare? <laughs> this isn't going in any more commentary rules, is it? No, it really isn't. I don't think this set is going in any anywhere near my range. <laughs> didn't happen, it's a blip on the radar. though. I will not explain this in the top interview. Oh, the deck punishing like that with Alaria as Reza whiffs. Fantastic awareness from him. Clapping, yet yeah, Nick V loving it. Clap, clap, clap. Dunk, listen, we've commentated nine games. It's been lovely working with you for now. If you've got a drink, I suggest you take it and we just shut up and watch the magic happen. Let's go. Fraud guy is fired. We can commentate dunk. Oh, it does. It was just not activated. Go, go. Okay, let's try Sir. Nice cop. Perfect. Fire production. Dunk's haircut greater than Damascus haircut. If my girl and Dunk both drowning and I can only save one. Catch me at my girl's funeral spreading lies and saying nice cock. Nice cock. Sarah spit in FRFR. Alareza with the drops. Okay, in the middle of all this good buttons. Fortnite Battle Pass, I just shit out my ass. Nice cock. What is happening? Sublime Rooster. Okay, wait, can we make the chat only nice cock for a little bit? What is this? Nice cock. Who's talking? Alexa, buy 25 garden hoses. Nice cook. You're talking oh. OMG, please get better commentators. It's a TTS bado. Nice poop. LMAO. Nice lock. Anyone can be commentators? Imagine teching when in DBFC. Does this count as commentary? Nice cook. Watch Reza no oiling him. Nice lariat. So unless I'm a closing it. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Sarah shut up. Everyone can put this on their commentary reel. E-A-S-Y-M-A-N Kasuga is stinky This is quote commentary end quote What is happening? Nitro is a fraud Kasuga two place Mix Sarah two place But who would win oiled up? That's how I know that's a voice filter BC he did the woodchuck rhythm Kasuga still dodging Hikari is trash Easy man Crucial Elareza with the sick mix up using only mids I can't believe it NGL would rather have yipes. Mix. 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 They are making this a long one so we can commentate more. I see. Sehan is a fraud and used a bot. Rip Damascus hair. We will we will mix you. I like my milk warmed up. Nice cock. What is the mix? Mix. Barrier. That stream is OD. Hold on hold hold on hold on hold on I am not a pigeon I swear. This is incredible. Are Sert and Dunk still getting paid for this? Barrier. Kaka. Dunk's hairline is on his neck. Proud. Five gifted subs if you guys can count to 100 in the chat without any repeated numbers. No, we are not getting paid for this C4 IQ. Dunk gets paid? Sert and Dunk have been temporarily fired. Ambama. PTDRR Maze Tage Quell Age at Tensifer. Liverpool will be the death of me and I will not last the year. Listen.
We deserve payment for not laughing once during that set. Press, I, honestly, I was laughing. I was crying. All jumps were on the line, buddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the takeover of AI in the commentary field. How will we react in the future? Yeah, chat commentary was kind of lit. I can't lie. If they put on chat commentary at Evo, I can't lie. I'd be viable with it. So, like, we need to get our McDonald's applications ready. We're literally jobless after this. It just cuts that video of the guy making the fucking Big Mac five times as we listen to chat say nice cock 50 times. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bloody hell. But that's six, Reza four. Potentially ending this one. But well, that was a great hit there from Reza. She confirmed into decent damage. Honestly, I'm missing chat commentary already. I can't lie. Can we like turn it back on for one cheeky game? I tell you what, chat, press one if you like being commentators and you like to do it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we see enough ones, maybe chat gets to commentate again. But for now, we'll have to see if there will be another game for you to commentate because Videk is still trying to pound that pressure on. Blocking for now as Reza goes for the cross up, the good defense. As we said, Dunk, it's honest mix staggers. And Videk challenges at last. There we go, gets the hit, but he drops not like this. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, he was gonna mix him out of his skates. Oh, that, yo, how many KOs did you need, brother? All I'm of them. Was unnecessary violence. Oh, and he jabs him out of the air like that. Fedek is going on the ground control right now, stopping any planes. Sparks in the air. You know what? I rate this Fedek. If you don't drop this, killing Barok right now when you're on the precipice of winning the set. You know what? Why did I even bother speaking? I, I, yeah. I should not speak. When I speak, I'm in trouble. You know who wouldn't make this mistake? Chat. They didn't make that mistake once. Yeah, listen, forget getting yipes on the stream. Can we get chat back on the stream? SMH, I'd hate it when chat isn't on the mic. <laughs> what the hell, where's chat? <laughs> We're actually out of jobs, I want to like, really know that. The YouTube comments are gonna be full of, can you guys just have chat commentary on at all times? Like, no, don't say that because now they're actually gonna do it just to make sure we get fired. No chat, please, listen. No chat, you, you two, chat, both of you guys, please. Three pounds a day can feed a hungry certain dunk. Just one text of nice cock to 0700 821. <laughs> you can provide a hungry commentator with a home and meal. Boy. I'm actually very afraid. Anyway, <laughs> gonna look for mix here. Good, God, has vanished once again. Situation five all the forbidden one. That's a Vanish, wants to keep him longer so he can get the assist back. Here comes the mix. Okay, completely messed up. What in God's name did I just watch? Bro, oh, Videk literally disappeared off the screen and Reza still jabbed him. He literally jabbed the end. You and Goku was like, oh. <laughs> nah, that's not real. I'm so sorry, that's not real. Reza, defying the laws of physics, defying every law I know. Break JL to chase Videk. We complimented Videk's movement, right? getting evasive, getting out of the way. Reza has been great in terms of tracking the day. Like even just then, the jump to, to keep him locked down. Reza's been fantastic. Can he keep up though? We'll have to see because Vedek will get a chance to go for the mix here. Standard stuff, 6N dead. The 2-1-4-H in the corner. A lock Reza in place as he tries to move out. Not gonna work. Five bars already built firmly on Vedek's side. Can potentially bring that UI Goku out of there to recover some life if he wants to. That's exactly what he'll do. Level 3 with Kid Buu. And he's still got plenty of bar to spend. Dangerous territory for Kid Goku right now. There's a mix. JL goes for all three overheads. It just staggers out. Once that assist back, you can see the fast reach on there. It's right back again. Doesn't even need it. The depth will open up Reza. Surely a one bar kill here. Maybe not even one bar. No, it's one bar. I like <laughs> Listen, after what we after what we've been experiencing this set dunk, I think we get a pass for lying, at least this once. Yeah, honestly, it's been unforeseen circumstances after another one. So yeah, it's been a rough day. Reza though, Reza's been on fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. Get a trumpet in the background, the singular trumpet beast. <laughs> Cut to Damascus using the DUI drip sign. <laughs> Please don't. He's jumped together. That's enough. Wow, that was a jump scare DR. I did not see that one coming. Bardo hiding it almost. So level one, level one should be enough. And it is Reza, one character away from taking us. What the uh, hell? Damascus jump scare. This is actually the most cursed set of Dragon Ball ever. 
Like, the only cursed stuff has happened. All I'm saying is, if we get to a final game, I think we deserve either auto tune or chat commentary back. This has yeah. been one of the longest and funnest sets of Dragon Ball ever, as Reza tries to keep himself in the set, tries to go for more offense right now, staggering for that. Oh. Yo, what the hell? Oh, you know what? Right, okay. Vedex, why? Why? <laughs> Bro literally stood there and went, ah. It's 6-5, Dunk. We're not done yet. We're still going. I don't want to go anymore. I don't want to. I, I, I've actually just lost the will. I've lost the will to <laughs> compensate, man. It, I looked at it for like five seconds. Like, you know what? We're going to be really good here. Level three. <laughs> you know what would be really good to win this stair down? Quick draw, level three. <laughs> it's high, dude. Draw. Reza is behind cover, so that bullet did not hit, and he is definitely hitting for decked up right now. He's got the pressure on, has got the assist to extend. Get the fourth ball here, Reza. Maybe. Oh, no. He's dead. Yeah, he should be. Please live. God, no. Yeah, see, I'm not allowed to lie, unlike you, so. It's in my contract. I have to lie, like, at least 15 times every, every one eight set, so. I'm just fulfilling my contract so I can get my bonus. He, whoa, he did that key blast, and I swear he confirmed after that as well. But Deck almost sending Ali as a space right there with that. But he does get the hit again, and he drops again. Dunk not like this, please. There's been so many drops from Vedek, but that back dash 2M has caught so much value. We've seen it used in so many different situations. Vedek will actually be able to get the kill here. Cheap as well, 2 bar. Now it's an even game. Even game for Dex crawling back there. And Reza going for the aerial movement, trying to lock him down after the assist. Bardock B effectively utilized right there. Saggers and a good tech from Vedex as he goes back to the mid screen right now. The long range key blast, the long range beams. You can tell both players are really fishing for the hit dunk. Mm, absolutely. That 2M um, spelled danger. Vedex managed to weave his way out of it. What a punish. That was an amazing punish on that beam, right? And a lot of people were really struggling to punish it because of the super dashes afterwards. Um, but that that was a perfectly placed key blast. Didn't get much from it, though. It was amazing, but like... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was amazing, but he didn't kill, so I don't care. Oh, the reflex straight up punishing that. The deck getting a little bit over and Gigi. Oh, what is stop the Mystic Ball? Oh, the Tatsu kicks from Reza working to the charm. He's got so much life advantage over Vedek right now. He's going for the staggers. Go block some Vedek as he gets pushed back into that corner right now. Here comes the spark and he's going to be able to confirm because Reza, no tech, but a drop again. That's to block out all of this sparking. This great block on that one. But the overhead will connect. And if that did hit, if, if Vedek could continue, he was going to go for the reset afterwards. But this is great from Reza. Wasting all that sparking time. It's not perfect Tetris, but good enough. Now it's his turn. Plus frames. Overhead right now. Vedek sparking is firmly gone. Just needs to go for the patience. Oh, Vedek, he did it before and it didn't work. But you know what, Dunk? Anything you can do, I can do it better. He goes for it again. He makes it work. But look at the blue life. It's all regenerating. And Vedek still can't find a hit after that. He's like, he took no damage. Hold on, this guy got blocks. Damn, that was insane. Let's actually weathered that sparking storm extremely well. Now it's just fair games here out. I love the Dragon Rush right to break and get your assist back. Uh, Goku Pro, you good? Really I don't okay? think he is. I don't think any of us are good right now, Dunk. Oh, definitely not the Kid Boo. He is out of here. The extension, five bars as well. Keep it simple, Reza. Okay, it's a 2v1 at this point. All Reza has to do is send that UI Goku out of here, hopefully with no jump scares this time. And we do get the final game in one of the longest sets I've seen in a hot minute. And one that has been... Uh, it's been one of the sets of all time to commentate, Dunk, that's for sure. <laughs> they didn't even commentate half of it. <laughs> that's a good point. We got fired for half of it. Oh my god, another stare down? And then 2H afterwards for death. No, this isn't this is right. This is wrong. I want you to lose now. Huh? Oh, goodness, Vedek, be careful. When they're doing those stare downs, I can literally just imagine, like, the <laughs> noise from the high noon. <laughs> oh, the 5 L will connect. Actually, this is going to be decent damage, potentially a kill here. Give JS and Super Dash, and then go for the Vanish. Yeah, will do. Now the level 3. That should be enough to get the kill. 
with the extra damage you get from that limit break from being on the last character the deck takes us down to final characters it's the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end super saiyan goku versus ui goku to close out potentially the final game of this one tip Yep, the start of Dragon Ball Fighters versus the pinnacle of our season three began. The deck will be the one to show he is the further evolution. He gets that start with a 2 1 4 H. Will be able to bring Ali Reza close to the corner right now. Needs to get yet another hit though, and does not have a lot of bar to work with. Reza holding the defense firm, trying to just hold it out. Oh, I think he tried a challenge, and Reza is not getting that to work. Oh, again, an aerial jab, but no confirmed dunk. Oh! That's all you need though, the 5M, that's going to be big damage. He's actually going to look for maybe a reach up on this to get more damage. No, doesn't even need it. Just does the vanish. Yeah, easy, easy. Could have done so much more. Kept it simple, kept it easy. We are going to the final game between Vedette and Reza. And it's been a barn burner. And I have oh, no well, idea well, what well, the Masters has cooked up for us for this final game. But if there's anything like the last one, it's going to be fantastic. I'm just gonna try and get confirmation. Are we gonna have auto tune? Are we gonna have chat commentary? Is someone going to be shot out of a cannon live on stream? Is Damascus gonna literally jump out of my monitor, throw me into the set, and make me do commentary live from the cell? Get All right, we get it, we get it. No more jump scares, Damascus. Our heart rates are already maxing out, please. Bloody hell, I don't need any more scares. This game's given me enough. Ali Reza versus Vedette. Final game between these guys. Who will end up taking it? It's gonna be an absolute nail-biting finish as Vedette is the first one to draw blood as she gets the Dragon Rush opening. Will be able to get that combo going nicely. Already has three parts firmly built in the back. The assist is recharging as well. Here comes the Kid Boom mix. Reza immediately sparking. You do not want to lose any momentum in a final game dunk. That's one reflect, doesn't get the second one off, we'll get counter hit. And that should be towards the end of the Sparky for Reza now. Vedette has to hold on. Oh, oh, that corner steal. Oh, and the DR hidden in the leaves. Or behind Goku, depending on how you feel about it. And he's actually going to be able to get the kill off this, right? Extend with the assist. There it is, level one, level one. It can drop a level three if necessary. Will do. Reza takes the first character. It's a repeat of the games we've seen before, right? Takes the first character, but now the deck has that sparking in the back. And we've seen the kid through resets. Will the deck be able to employ it again? It's highly possible when something works like that as a charm. If there's no adaptation, you've got to exploit it. But Reza is exploiting those back dashes in the air. The nice air to air. The missile guidance system is on point as he brings Vedek into the corner right now. And once again, where that Bardock was in danger. Now, too, is Kid Buu. Forces a spark. Vedek is desperately going to find something here. Oh, he needs to. There's the overhead hit. And five bars already built. Maximize this dunk. Needs to be cheeky. Needs to get all the damage. But he drops. Not like this. No, that was an intentional drop. Actually went for the reset and went kind of greedy. Went for the 2M to try and go for the outright kill. The only benefit here is you built 7 bar and will finally own, open up Reza and be able to spend some of that meter. The Dex Kid Boo coming in clutch when needed. Level 1 will come out, but now we have to fight the Gokus. So this is an amazing set, sir. Fantastic indeed, and you were right about the Kid Buu uh, reset, excuse me. It's definitely viable, but against even Reza's defense, not exactly enough, you know? He's been an absolute wall this entire time, and Vedek is going to have to keep being unconventional. And speaking of unconventional, 2M, break those ankles, Vedek, uh, Reza, excuse me, has got five and a half bars already, can go for the end and make that six. Wait a minute. You Perfect. don't! He's Stay dead! The He's dead! Oh, and I love that from Rizzo, right? He kept it so bloody safe. Didn't even go for the DR afterwards. Didn't try anything fancy. Level one, level one. And now it's all up to UI Goku for, for Vedek. But again, the great assist call from Reza will stop Vedek in his tracks. No meter to work with. So you stay alive for now. But how do you get yourself out of this corner? It's going to be an essential part of this set if a deck wants any more life left. Reza is just happy to keep being patient. Weather the storm of a deck right now as the staggers come into play once again. 
Oh, the old oh, hit will count. Uh, I think the deck was trying to find a way to escape, but it's not going to work out yet again. Not going to have the bar to dump just yet. One more hit will be all it takes. The deck immediately jumping out, trying to go on the aggressive side dunk. Walk up. There it is! Reza 2 aging the deck. He's tried to be quick on the draw three times, but all three times Reza has outpaced them. The gunman of the West will shut down the UK man. He takes both UK players down in one day. Don Kyoshi and the deck defeated Reza. What a performance 